if you want to go get here ready. Hi, everyone. We will begin with a statement from Yolette McCarran and open it up for questions. Please raise your hand in the chat if you have a question. Coach, go ahead. Uh, first of all, just really proud of our group. We showed some resili resiliency. Uh, I'd like to give uh, credit to Vanderbilt. I think uh, <clears throat> Coach Shea does a great job um, to get those kids to play hard and um, to execute. Um, as far as my team's concerned, you know, this was, uh, this was the type of win that I would say we needed right now, just because we have not done well in adversity in the past. Uh, we have lost six point leads. We have folded to adversity and today we push through. And that's, that's what I was looking for with our group uh, was really proud of how they all stepped up. I thought Shakira had a monster night um, and uh, they knew what was at stake. We felt like if we got this win, it would really put us in good position for the NCAA tournament. And obviously that's our goal. So really proud of our team. Courtney, go ahead. Yeah, coach, you kind of talked about it, but I know especially last year too, finishing down the stretch was something uh, you really wanted to work on. And what did you sort of just see from your team today that allowed you to do that in that fourth quarter? I just saw a resiliency. I saw a toughness from our group. I saw our group really make the decision to be who we are. And that's from a defensive end. I thought that uh, holding them to eight points in the fourth quarter was key for us. And, um, if we're going to win, I want us to win our way, Courtney. You know, like I want us to win from a defensive end. That allowed us to get out and transition and do some things. Uh, I didn't I didn't care how many points we scored. It was about us getting stops. And I thought um, when we needed to, we did it in a grandiose way. I can just ask a quick follow-up <clears throat> to that. But, I mean, do you feel like sort of – have you guys talked about setting your focus? I know it's always your focus to go start with the defensive end, but did you feel like maybe you guys had gotten away from that a little bit and sort of had to go back to that? Oh, yeah. That's why we were getting our butts whooped uh, because we kind of went through like a midseason successful crisis. <laughs> I just made that up. But, you know, this is a program that is growing and it's being built. And sometimes uh, it, it happens. We don't, you don't know how to handle success. And I thought uh, from, from the top down, and that's me included, we, I did a poor job of making sure we handled success the right way. And so we got caught up too much in other pictures instead of what got us there. We lost ourselves. And I thought at the a &M game, we got ourselves back to who we want to be and what we want to be known for um, as long as I'm here. Thank you. Thanks. Alex, go ahead. Hey, Coach. It was the 20th win so far this season. Um, you know, it's uh, usually, usually when you're looking at bracketology, it's always like 20 is that number that all the experts look at. So what does that mean for this team and, and looking forward to yeah. just the end of the season and the postseason as well? Well, with three, with three games left, it, it means the world uh, because I think it puts us at uh, – What's our record now in conference? We are uh, you mean in conference. In conference. We are now eight and five. We're eight and five. So even if we were to blow the next three, we're 500. <laughs> you know, I felt like it was the icing on the cake. We really, we knew our magic number was eight all along. And so we focus on getting to eight, getting to eight, getting to eight. And eight happened to be 20. And, uh, and now I think our team can play a little bit more relaxed. Uh, because we feel confident about our opportunities in the NCAA tournament. And so now, okay, checklist, let's build on that, you know? So we want to, it's a quick turnaround with Arkansas on Tuesday, and we're going to have to do our best to just mentally prepare for the fight. But as long as we defend at a high level, I like our chances. Um, Vanderbilt was very they were very um, aggressive on defense. Yeah. You know, they, of course, season high in turnovers um, and you're still able to come out with the victory. Mm -hmm. um, 
could you address a little bit on what they were doing to cause that or, or what kind of things can you make those adjustments from today to Tuesday in such a quick short around turnaround? I mean, they were just so freaking tough and gritty. And because they were undersized, if you dribble, you were at their area. And uh, and they were scrappy. That's why credit to Coach Ralph uh, for getting her team to play as hard as they played, you know. Um, it makes me wonder if we played that hard in my first year, you know, because we were undersized. We didn't have all the pieces. And yet and still, uh, we were right where they are right now. And I and listen, we respect every opponent. Uh, you know, we we knew this was going to be a fight. And we and I told them, I don't care if we have 105 turnovers, they can't be live ball turnovers. <laughs> and so the fact that they didn't get to convert as many points off of turnovers as probably they would like too much for our sake. I mean, 27 turnovers, that's ridiculous. I'm just glad that we found a way to get out of it. Mm -hmm. I just ask for one more question. Um, mm -hmm. At the end of the first half there, Monk drove through past the defense and had a lay in to go into halftime and beat the buzzer. Um, that tied the game up at 25. Is there kind of, it seems like so far this season, there's been a lot of opportunities to convert at the buzzer or to make those last second shots. And more than not, it seems the ball seems to go in. Is that something that the team's practiced? And what kind of an advantage does that give to mm -hmm. end the quarter and the half, seeing the ball go in the basket? Well, you know, I believe in these girls. I believe in them. Uh, there were moments of vulnerability with our team that I appreciated as the game was going. Obviously, Monk was very frustrated. And uh, for the first time, she came to me and expressed that. And I said, don't worry, we'll get through it defensively. Uh, so it was really cool for her to do that. And I felt like her and one in the fourth quarter sealed the deal. Um, so that was huge that she was able to do that. And then that on the offensive end and defensively, when we got that block, um, uh, Kira and Maddie, I don't even know who got it. Both of them were in the air hanging <laughs> to get that block. I thought that 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 was huge for us. So, yeah, I mean, there were frustrations, but we hadn't we hadn't come on the winning side and frustrations before. You know, Vanderbilt plays a style that we hadn't seen all year. You know, and so I'm really glad that we came. And this is a hard place to win. So I'm glad we found a way and and we and and I'm going to encourage our team to let's just build on this. Very good. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Great. Thanks, everyone.